Okay, welcome back to another video on my channel. Um, in this video, we're going to be looking at question 30 of the Curring Bar 2020 trial for maths advanced. A metal crate of fixed volume 9 cubic meters is to be made in the shape of a rectangular prism with length 2x meters, width x meters, and height h meters. Show that the area um, a square meters of metal required is given by a is equal to 4x squared plus 27 on x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll probably draw a diagram of this rectangular prism. So I'll just draw a rectangular prism. Okay, it's got a length of 2x meters, and a width of x, and a height of h. Now, the question says show that the area is given by this, and there's no mention of h anywhere which means I'll probably need to write my height of um, the prism in terms of x. So the volume is going to be length times width times height, um, which is going to equal to 9 because that's what the question says. So I've got 2x times x times h is equal to 9. So h is equal to 9 over 2x squared. Alright, so show that the area of metal um, required means we need to actually work out the surface area. So the surface area is going to be um, 2 lots of 2x times x. Okay, so that's for this bit. For the top and bottom, plus 2 lots of 2x times h, except h is 9 over 2x squared. That's for the front and the back. And then we need 2 lots of x times h, except h is 9 over 2x squared, and that's for the right and the left. Okay, so let's tidy this up. That's 4x squared plus uh, 2 times 2x, 4x times 9 is 36x over 2x squared plus 18x over 2x squared. Okay, okay keep going. 4x squared plus 36 plus 18, that's uh, 54x over 2x squared, because they both have the same denominator. And that equals to 4x squared plus 27 over x, which is what the question asked us to show. Okay, question B. Hence, find the minimum area of metal required. Now, whenever a question asks us to work out a minimum or a maximum, we need to differentiate and make the first derivative equal to zero, because then it will give us a maximum or a minimum. So, here we've got area is equal to 4x squared plus 27 on x. Let's rewrite that as 27x to the power of negative 1. If we want to differentiate the area with respect to x, we will get 8x minus 27x to the negative 2. Now we want to make this equal to 0. So it's going to be a minimum or a maximum when it's equal to 0. So 8x minus 27 over x squared is equal to 0. I'm going to multiply everything by x squared to um, get rid of the, the denominator. This will leave me with 8x cubed minus 27 is equal to 0. So 8x cubed is equal to 27. x cubed is equal to 27 on 8. So x is equal to 3 over 2. Okay, when we cube root this, cube root 27 over 8 
we will get 3 on 2. You cannot just use that and then work out what the minimum area is because it could be a maximum. So what we need to do is we need to prove, we need to show that this is a minimum and not a maximum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a double dash When we differentiate this now, what do we get? 8 plus 54 x to the power of minus 3. Okay, or 8 plus 54 over x cubed. Now, when x is equal to 3 over 2, a double dash is going to equal to 8 plus 54 over 3 over 2 cubed, or let's just do 1.5 cubed, 24. That's greater than 0, and therefore it's a minimum area. Okay, so the minimum area required, minimum area required, is when x is equal to 3 over 2. So we have 4 times 3 over 2 squared plus 27 times 3 over 2 to the power negative 1. Okay, and I just used this. So that's what the equation for the area is. All right, let's put that in our calculators. I'm just going to write 3 over 2 equals. All right, so you got 4 answer squared plus 27 answer to the power of minus 1. 27. Now, let's just see what units we need. These are all in meters. So I'm just going to write square meters. 